So I've put the forward end cap on, same procedure as I did for the after one, so I probably won't do very much filming, but it's on, tacked on, the clamps that held it on and the, the, the hook for the, for the chain hoist are all been removed. So it's just a matter of plodding around now um, and, and doing my TIG run to, TIG root run to start with. So I also finished fitting the other um, the other DRO scale, which was equally as difficult. And it doesn't look much now. I just made a bracket and fitted it on, but it has to be all straight and lined up and whatnot. But anyway. Um, idea is that they are now on and I'll do the x-axis and I've got the y-axis as well so um, I'm just going to put the device back on and I'm going to test them out see how accurate they are so as you can see I've come all the way round so this is the this is taking what well, taken me two hours to do this so this is the last bit so a bit of token token filming for the last bit So that's the TIG route done, I can uh, start on the hot passes now. Turn on. Oh, yeah. So I'm now just going to start on doing my, uh, my fill and pass, fill and passes. I think I did two fill and passes on the, the last one. Anyway, it's quite a bit of work to do yet. carry on like that all the way around now so that's my first filling pass I'm not allowed a cup of tea until I've finished the first filling pass so I finished the welding uh, on the front end cap that is now on uh, I've just been at it all day uh, so you can see it's all done so it's just one bit I just wasn't happy with it there uh, just gonna just ground that off. I'm just going to redo that tomorrow, but I haven't got any more rods. I don't want to open a new packet until tomorrow. And I just caught this here. So quite sure what I'm going to do with that. That needs kind of stoning off now. Anyway, it's been an all day slog. Okay, next day, new packet. Just put them in the oven, the rod oven, just while uh, while I do the grinding out on the inside. Oh, so annoying when one gets stuck down the side. Ow! Try 
will cut my finger. He's got plenty of plasters in stock. So I've got to get in and I'm going to do the, the grinding out for, on this joint from the inside. It's a bit more awkward than the actual welding, I think. in a bead on. I'm just waiting for my assistant to arrive actually because I'm not going in here and, and welding um, without there being someone else here. I think it's just a little bit too dodgy. So uh, just while I'm waiting for him I've just put a couple of little uh, runs just to, to top that cap off there because I just sort of ground them off a little bit. Not really much to say about that really. Just waiting. Oh, come on, where is he? Oof. Really awkward getting around in here. But just going around. So that probably sounds pretty obvious, but it's a lot easier with an assistant. I got an assistant today. But he's uh, making sure I don't die and passing me stuff. Thank you. Good job, William. Thank you. William's going to be a paramedic. He's training to be a paramedic. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, what are you? What, what are you now at the moment? Um, so I'm, a, I'm a, like an assistant. Um, and then I'm going away to university to do my degree over there in Bristol. And yeah, which is good. So it's always good to have a have a medically trained person when you're doing this job. That's it, finished. I'm not getting in again, but it's all finished on the inside. Uh, the inside bead. Still got to clear up. <laughs> Okay, so just finished that little bit of um, little bit of welding on the other side. Uh, so the forward end cap is now completely finished. Uh, so I've just rigged up the hoist now to get this first battery pod on. Uh, I'm just going to lift it up. Uh, I was tempted to you can't see in there. I was tempted to put the battery uh, battery a variable ballast tank in on the front, the forward one, which is down there, but. It doesn't really matter i can do that after and rather rather get these battery pods on and um then i can get it sat on its own feet so let's get this one hoisted up first actually no thinking about it first thing i'm do i'm just going to uh i'm just going to tidy this bit up where the um where i need to to weld Hope I've got enough room when this is uh, it's not gonna be enough, I'm gonna have to adjust the straps. Alright, so I've put I've strapped it round twice now. I think this is how I had it before. I did this once and it worked.
this was going to happen. I put this masking tape on here in order to uh, in order to protect this surface a little bit, and it's all stuck and manky, which is one of the problems with masking tape. Just got this feeling that acetone's not going to be enough. This has got to come off before I can weld this on. No, that's suspected. Ow, that's gone straight through my gloves into my hand. Uh, ow! That's very good for you to see that. Andy, I've got a, uh, a strap around the middle, but I still, I still want to keep these green ones on for safety. Right, so I've got this hooked around. Um, and over the top there, just as a safety, just in case this falls. I don't think it will now, because it's swinging on that middle strap. Right, so I think I can uh, spin it round. Right that's good, okay. I've got my Clearance there on my uh, through hole penetrator, and I've got a little block there just to pack that up, just to give me a little bit of clearance under there to get under under that joint. And I have uh, I've messed about for absolutely ages getting it level. Um, that's where it's going to go. I've done a, uh, a straightforward fillet joint to start with and I'm going to uh, go over now with a with a weave run. I'm just going to take these off first. I've got a bit of, uh, a bit of excessive amount of spatter only there. All the others can do it. I'm going to turn which is annoying because I can't quite get it grinder into clean it, but let's just carry on. Now, that wasn't quite feeding right, but I didn't want to stop. Uh, so that wasn't quite feeding right. I didn't feel it was feeding uh, the most my uh, what line was a bit tangled up but anyway I didn't want to stop so uh, just to keep it going so I just compensated for it by going a bit slower let's carry on like that all the way around now I've gone all the way along now on all these joints. Excessive spatter there, which didn't seem to appear anywhere else. Anyway, so on. 